Hello guys, uh, so in this uh, module we will learn about how we can create this game. You can see this guys, we will, I'll teach you how you can create it. So this is a game, okay, when I press this space button, you can see this guys, okay, this is a game of a caterpillar, okay, and we will understand this thing that uh, how we can create this uh, game and uh, how uh, the score of this is updated, how the uh, speed of this caterpillar is updated okay from scratch guys it it requires no experience okay if you do not have any experience i'll teach you step by step guys with detailed graphics and all and at the end you see game over when it touched to the wall <laughs> okay so i will guide you step by step how you yourself can create it this whole game okay hello guys uh, so now uh, you have seen that I have shown you how uh, our game look like okay so guys uh, how to start that thing okay for that guys I just need to import okay I just need to import some libraries first is your turtle okay first is your turtle as T I just gave a alias name as T okay you can give whatever it is so i just need to if i just want you to just uh, make a little bit zoom in okay and then i just need to import uh, random as okay random you have already know import time as ti okay so these three libraries you just need to first import okay uh, now uh, first of all I just make that background as yellow okay so I just need to give t dot bg okay color okay and uh, in that I just need to give it uh, yellow okay and uh, I have uh, you know I have defined it okay and I have game BG color as yellow okay now uh, I just make this time as sleep okay and uh, sleep for let us suppose three seconds okay so let me just run and show you how it actually looks like you can see this guys uh, this is how it actually looks like you can see uh, how actually it look like uh, how uh, the function is actually performing okay so now guys so, uh, there are you can say that guys there are four things that you need to define first is your cater pillar okay first is your caterpillar first is your caterpillar second is your leaf okay that caterpillar will eat third is your text okay third is your text what is a text what is a text guys text which shows shows that press space to play game okay that text that i have shown you that uh, press space to play the game okay and the fourth thing that you need to understand is uh, your score okay the score which keep track of the score okay is your score okay now uh, i just need to focus on this caterpillar part okay so what you need to do guys what you need to do is to just define a variable okay cater pillar i just need to define a variable cater pillar and i just need to initialize it with the instance of turtle okay instance of turtle okay you can see this uh, this is an instance or oh, i have just created a uh, you can say that uh, in define a constructor this is how you uh, need, need to uh, invoke a constructor okay now 
caterpillar dot shape what it will do that caterpillar dot shape what it will do it will give you a shape of that caterpillar okay i can give a shape let us suppose square okay square is a shape for initially i just need to give a particular uh, square okay and i just need to give uh, a speed okay speed for that caterpillar as zero because i want to display it like how it actually looks like when it is static okay and i i don't want to uh, you know displace it from one location to another so for that i just need to pen up okay pen up so this is a thing that i need to show you guys okay this is a thing uh, that we need to perform first okay uh, so for that guys what you need to do is so now guys uh, i just need to uh, run that part okay i just need to run that part so for that what i need to do you can see this i just need to click on this run button and you can see this uh, how it actually looks like so you can see this guys uh, how it actually looks like okay at my point uh, it will not responding don't worry guys because uh, it is just a small part okay and we just need to retest it okay so it might uh, shows you some problem like uh, this not responding so don't worry about it don't uninstall anything okay uh, this is similar to my situation as well once we have created the game it will smoothly function okay so i just need to uh, click on delete or close the kernel whatever you want to do okay uh, you can do it okay so now uh, the most important thing and it will automatically delete it guys okay uh, so now what we need to do is to create a leaf okay how to create a leaf so uh, let me just show you guys with the paint okay i just need to show you with paint okay uh, to make you understand better that how exactly a leaf look like okay so uh, a leaf is of green color which is having you can see this uh, it is of small shape so i just need to create it bigger okay as compared to what we just need to create okay so you can see this guys it just look like in this manner okay it just look like in this manner okay this and uh, this okay guys so this is our leaf so this leaf is connected with this points okay one Two, three, four, five, six. So it is a shape of a polygon. Okay, it is a shape of a polygon. So, uh, what you need to do is to define these axes first. Okay. So for that, let us suppose, guys, uh, this axis. Okay, this point axis is. Let us suppose is R. Uh, zero comma zero. Okay, this is the coordinate of this. Let us suppose of this point. Okay, of this point. Okay, let me just give you. Uh, okay, this point. Okay, this point. Coordinate of this point. Similarly, whatever this point is having, let me just create that distance. Okay, this distance, guys. Okay, as 20 okay so we can give it as 20 comma 20 okay similarly guys this point is opposite of this point and this point is opposite of this point so let us suppose this point guys i just need to show you this point let us suppose the coordinate of this point is uh let us suppose guys uh we can say that 14 comma 2 okay is the coordinate 14 comma 2 is a coordinate 
सो वट इज द कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ दिस पॉइंट गाइज इज टू कॉमा टू कॉमा फोर्टीन ओके सिमिलरली द कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ दिस पॉइंट लेट अस सपोज द कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ दिस पॉइंट इज सिक्स कॉमा एटीन ओके सिक्स कॉमा एटीन सो सिमिलरली द कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ दिस पॉइंट विच इज ऑपोजिट इज रिवर्स एटीन कॉमा एटीन कॉमा सिक्स ओके सिंपल आई हैव शोन यू द कैलकुलेशन गाइज आई हैव ऑलरेडी डन द कैलकुलेशन फॉर यू गाइज ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट इट फॉर डिफरेंट शेप यू कैन ट्राई इट आउट ओके यू कैन क्रिएट योर ओन शेप बिकॉज फॉर द एक्सपेरिमेंटल पर्पज ओके बिफो बिकॉज आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू शो यू हाउ द थिंग्स विल क्रिएट ओके यू कैन क्रिएट योर ओन शेप इन स्टेड ऑफ लीव लीव यू कैन क्रिएट बनाना ऑरेंज ओके और डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ पिक्चर्स लाइक यू कैन क्रिएट अ फ्लावर ओके सो दीज आर द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट इज हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट इट सो फॉर दैट सिमिलरली गाइज फॉर दैट वॉट वी नीड टू डू इज टू क्रिएट अ लीव सो वी जस्ट नीड टू डिफाइन अ वेरिएबल फर्स्ट ओके विच नोन एज लीव एंड दिस गेव अ टर्टल ओके गेव दिस टर्टल एज वॉट वी नीड टू डिफाइन लीव okay i just want a shape of it so for that what i need to do guys what i need to do just tell me i am having how many coordinates guys i am having six coordinates so okay okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so starting is from 0 Zero. Okay, and another is your guys. Another is your fourteen comma two. Okay, another is your fourteen comma two. Okay, and uh, another is your eighteen comma six. Okay, you can see this eighteen comma six. Okay, eighteen comma six. Okay, and This is your twenty comma twenty. Okay. This is your six comma eighteen. You can uh, give uh, have a ready reference, guys. For this, there is this. For this, there is this. For this, there is this. Okay. So you can create your own reference. So as per the standards, as per the parameters, I have just. Uh, assign these values okay as per the standard so you can put as per your own okay so i just need to register this shape so for that i just need to register register shape okay so what is the uh, name i just need to give the shape as leaf okay although it is a polygon but i just need to give it leaf so leaf underscore shape is the variable which contains this these coordinates and this is my shape okay fine perfect i just i have uh, uh, you can say that i have register a shape now i just want this turtle this turtle to create this shape okay just like this cavity pillar okay the square we have created so what is the name leaf we have just registered okay we have recently created a shape and register it similarly guys i am not using any photos okay okay i am not using any photos just like uh, you can import a photo and then you can uh, you know hang it around why i have not shown you with photos guys because if you know how to create shapes you can eventually create your own photos and pictures okay it's very important for you to understand the basics leaf dot color what it is green green okay leaf dot pen up okay 
and I'm not uh, giving a speed okay right now uh, I can give a speed of a leaf what is the speed guys zero. obviously it's zero so let me just see how it actually looks like let's see if it is working or not is that yeah guys you can see this uh, right now it is overlapping and I have already shown you it will always show you this not responding part because of the errors okay so quickly uh, delete that console okay so guys uh, now we need to define this uh, text okay the text what is the text name is uh, press space to continue the game okay so for that we just need to first uh, define a variable I can give it text turtle okay and uh, I just define it as false why guys why it is initially false because uh, when I press space then that value become true and then we initiate our process so initially we just need to make this uh, we can say that variable as false okay so don't uh, just think that how we are proceeding don't worry guys just understand the concept very well I just go through these steps step by step so that you can understand the concept very well okay now guys what we need to do again this text turtle okay now what we need to uh, we just need to assign it with t dot okay turtle we just need to assign it just like this you can see this just like this we just need to uh, initialize it okay now guys what we need to do next uh, I just make it bigger okay so now it is clear I guess okay so I just need to give text underscore turtle again I just need to write a message guys I just need to write a message okay I just need to write a message with a function known as write okay and what do I need to write here press space to guys this is a message so uh, what I need to do guys I just need to align this message okay I just need to uh, align this message to the center okay I just need to assign it to the center so you can see this center okay and uh, here what I need to do uh, you can say that uh, uh, I just need to give a font okay font of you can say Arial okay and uh, I just need to give a size of 18 and make it bold okay make the test bold you have seen uh, in the Excel and all okay or in excel sheet or word file how we make it bold okay so these are the parameters that we need to give okay guys these are the parameters that we need to give first is font okay inside font we have created a tuple of uh, uh, arial uh, the size okay the type of uh, text we want uh, 18 okay and bold it should be and we need to assign it at the center okay guys uh, so let me just see this okay let me just run it and see that how it actually looks like okay so okay guys uh, I just need to give it uh, I just need to put a dot okay instead of it <laughs> it is a function okay guys it is a function okay so let's see this Uh, you can see this yeah it looks absolutely fine you can see this guys okay uh, it is not responding because uh, <laughs> you all know these things 
okay so don't worry i just need to close this console and i hope you get an idea guys how uh, we get this uh, thing okay now guys i just need to update a score okay so for score what we need to do okay for score what we need to do is, is to define it as total score total and just assign it d dot okay total okay this is a class you can see this uh, and uh, score underscore total okay dot speed okay and we can give that speed is zero okay but uh, as you have already seen that guys uh, the score is not updated yet okay it is initialized as zero so what i need to do guys okay i just need to hide it okay so uh, for score uh, guys this is all we need okay now guys i just need to uh, we can say that hide all of these uh, all of these uh, turtles okay this one two three and four these are the turtles that we need to hide so for hiding it guys a command we need to use we can use caterpillar here dot what it is hide okay turtle okay this is a function that you need to perform okay hide dot turtle okay similarly here you can say uh, here you need to put leaf dot hide turtle okay uh, you can say that in this manner okay and uh, here also you just need to um, text okay text turtle and uh, i just need to hide it okay similarly for score i just need to hide it okay so you can say that score underscore turtle dot hide okay so right now i just need to hide it guys okay I so guys uh, I, uh, we have successfully uh, write these four things okay these are the declaration and uh, for now uh, i just need to delete it okay i don't want it okay so you just need to delete it for the showing the purpose of uh, individual items that is the importance of this time element you can even delete it okay uh, now uh, there is no need of it okay so guys what i need to do right now okay so uh, for now we just need to first define uh, some of the functions okay and uh, individual function is doing its own thing so as per the four things score text leaf caterpillar okay there are uh, four functions okay so the first function is your uh, detecting caterpillar is outside a window okay so uh, let us suppose this is a window okay okay uh, i just need to show you first okay so um i just need to show you first okay um and so let me just uh, draw it guys okay so let us suppose this is a screen guys okay and in this screen guys if the caterpillar let us suppose this is my caterpillar okay this is my caterpillar okay if this caterpillar if this caterpillar i can say uh, i can move it here if this caterpillar you can see this is going upward you can see this is going upward and when it touch to the borders it will show you your game is over okay guys this is our perspective like if this caterpillar will touch the border okay if this caterpillar will touch this border the game is over any of this border either it is of this type or here okay or downwards okay the game is over so this is a particular function that we need to define first okay so let me just quickly make this function okay so we can say that outside uh window okay so uh, i can give outside okay 
outside underscore window so this is a function that i can define okay this is a function name and uh, you can say that uh, uh, we need to define this left wall okay what it is left wall left wall is your this i'll show you this is your left wall guys this red wall and there is a right wall and there is a top wall and there is a bottom wall okay so you can say that uh, this is a left wall and we can give so uh, one thing i just need to give you an idea guys if uh, uh, you you can say that this is a caterpillar okay i just put it aside and i just need to divide this whole uh, screen okay you can say that you have seen the quadrants guys you have seen the quadrants okay if you done mathematics you have seen it okay so you can see this uh, the screen is divided into these four parts okay these four parts are very important guys okay you have seen that uh, the values okay let's make the practical application of mathematics okay uh, let us suppose this is a zero guys okay this is a zero and uh, all the values here are positive all the value on the y axis is positive here x axis is negative and here what it is negative negative y axis so we can say that you have already did this guys uh, negative y axis okay this is your positive y axis okay this is your x axis which is in positive okay and this is your negative x axis okay okay and uh, you have already seen this thing as well like uh, these are the points guys in your uh, uh, high schools okay in your uh, sixth class or eighth class you have seen this thing uh, we just need to plot it okay how we plot uh, these points okay so this is how we need to point it out okay so guys this thing is very important our left wall okay this is our left wall if my uh, this snake is how we can detect that uh, the that it touch the snake will touch the wall if this snake touch the wall we need to find it out with position okay so for that we just need to create okay for walls the, this is your width okay this is your width so i can make width okay uh, you can say that this is your width okay this is your width size okay this is your width and you can say that this is your height okay this is your width and this is your height okay we can say that this whole width if i can take the width okay and i can say that uh, if the left of the wall is negative okay i can divide it by 2 okay and i can say that it will lies in this quadrant okay if i divide it by 2 i can say that it is uh, in this quadrant and if i divide it by 2 this width i can say that it is in the right corner similarly if i divide height i can say that it is in the top and it is in the bottom okay so how we can detect it that it is outside okay so we can detect it guys when okay so we can detect it so for this left wall is your negative part so minus t dot window underscore width okay this is a predefined function of a turtle okay and we divide it by 2 and there is a right wall okay so we can say that t dot window width by 2 and make sure that it is not negative okay it is negative guys okay this thing is negative and this is not okay now uh, this is your left wall uh, and there is a top wall okay 
there is a top wall we can say that the top wall is t dot window underscore height okay in this we take height okay for top everything is positive okay but at the bottom bottom wall everything is negative t dot we need to assign it first okay t dot window height by 2 okay I hope it is clear guys okay now we need to define these x and y coordinates okay x and y coordinates of what okay we can take a tuple guys of x and y coordinate and uh, we can get these x and y axis the current position of our caterpillar so this is our caterpillar okay this is our caterpillar guys you have seen that we have defined a caterpillar this is our caterpillar so if the position if we can see the position okay if we define this function as pause if we find this position okay we can say that if if we got this position okay and we can compare it with the outside window we can say that guys outside okay we can define an outside variable and we can give that if x this is your x guys okay the current position of a caterpillar if x is smaller than your left wall okay your left wall okay or or function okay if any one of these two okay if the left wall it is smaller than that okay it is smaller than that means minus more negative okay or we can say that if x is greater than right wall okay okay the right wall means guys what is the position right wall means this is your boundary okay if it crosses this boundary we can say that it is outside the window okay or we can say that if uh, y okay is greater than your top wall okay top top wall okay if this y is greater than that top wall we can say that if this y position is greater than this top wall okay we can say that uh, it is outside or we can say that if y is smaller than bottom wall okay so we can say that um, we are outside the window and we need to return this okay and we need to return this outside okay so this is your uh, not outside this outside variable okay guys this is an outside variable and we need to return it okay so this is a function which is, which shows that uh, our caterpillar if it is outside the window so we can uh, uh, print this uh, outside window whenever it is outside whenever our caterpillar is outside okay we can say that if it returns guys if it returns any of these uh, we can say that true okay if any of these condition is true we can say that game is over okay the game is over so this is a particular function that you need to perform okay another function we, which we need to look at is your place your leaf okay at random position okay so guys if we eat a leaf at a particular position okay we want to prompt it again so what we need to do guys so first we need to define the function which is known as place a leaf okay we need to place these leaf so we can uh, okay 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 wait a second so we can uh, make this function as we just need to first hide the leaf guys okay we just need to first hide the turtle okay what is the hiding turtle this is the leaf that we have created guys remember this thing this is a turtle okay so we have created it okay uh, now we need to first what we need to do we just need to hide the previous leaf and regenerate the leaf in the upcoming uh, windows okay so you can see this guys first you can see this guys 
uh, we have uh, chosen a random okay which will generate random positions uh, okay for ourselves in the particular range so we can say that we just need to first hide the previous leaf okay we just need to hide the previous leaf and for the new leaf okay we just need to first define the coordinates okay so leaf dot set x means uh, we just need to set the x axis of this leaf okay for that i just need to define the random variable okay rand int okay and i just need to give the a and b value which ranges from minus 200 to 200 okay this is by default size of our uh, small screen that appears okay similarly for y axis guys i just need to copy paste it okay similarly for y axis so, and we just need to put set y for this okay now this is a new x uh, new uh, leaf coordinates so we need to show it okay so we need to show it so what we need to do leaf dot show turtle okay we just need to show this turtle you uh, get an idea guys what we need to do okay what this function will do okay so what we are doing right now is to first uh, create an outside uh, window and we have created a leaf window hello guys uh, so now uh, we just need to define uh, two functions first is your game over and uh, second is your displaying the score okay so guys for that what we need to do is to first define it okay we just need to define first function which is known as game over function okay which is our game over function okay game over function will define that whenever uh, you know you have missed uh, a leave okay or uh, due to some uh, you know when you go out of window okay uh, you have uh, okay uh, you have uh, you know making some hurdles if you eat some hurdles or uh, you can add uh, new new things guys okay for that if you just create walls okay and uh, uh, whenever it touch the wall one of the wall uh, then the game is over okay so for that what you need to do okay so this is a function which we need to define so for game over function so for the game over function we need to give caterpillar we just need to first uh, make it in uh, you know i don't want it to appear so i just make the color as background color okay what is a background color yellow so this is the best way to uh, make the turtle uh, you know invisible because uh, if we just match it with the background then it will not showcase anything <laughs> instead it is a photo picture but uh, we have just created a square for this okay so don't worry about it so we make this caterpillar so this is a caterpillar okay this is a caterpillar so we make this caterpillar you can say that make this caterpillar uh, matches with the background okay so now and we need to uh, you know make the leaf also invisible and uh, so for that we just make this color as guys what yellow okay make the color yellow now uh, we just need to uh, now uh, what we need to do is to make the pen up okay because we don't want anything uh, to you know anything to prompt okay i don't want that caterpillar to continuously moving in the same direction as well or a leaf on the same direction so we just need to make pen up means it will not displace caterpillar or any of these turtles from one place to another okay and we want t dot hide turtle okay we want to hide all of these turtles and we just need to write okay and we just need to write what we just need to write guys game over okay 
game over okay and uh, with this game over uh, i just align the text in the center okay and similarly make the font make the font as what we make the font just like we can make the font in arial okay arial and uh, the size should be 30 okay more you can increase the size as well and uh, i don't want to make it a uh, bold so i can make normal okay you can make bold if you can okay if you want to display it as per your design you can make it okay just like we uh, here you can see this press start to okay just with it in this manner we just want it okay so you can see this guys uh, t dot right okay and uh, i just need to hide this uh, turtle first and write game over now this is a particular thing for game over now guys what i need to do is to make a function of display score okay function to display the score okay our scoreboard at each leaf okay at each leaf i just want that number to increment okay so for that guys i can define a function and i can say that i just need to display the score and i can take the current score guys i can take the current score as a parameter okay i can take the current score as a parameter and uh, call this function okay so what i need to do guys for the score you have seen that for the score you can see we have defined it. you can see this guys for the score okay for the score turtle you can see this for the score we have defined this turtle okay so i can take this uh, okay uh, score turtle okay so i can take this turtle score turtle okay dot clear clear means it will remove the pre previous score okay on it it will uh, uh, you know uh, vanish it and i can make underscore turtle dot pin up okay what we need to make pin up pen up means for the total uh, score it should be visible and pen up why because we do not want it to be increment okay while uh, it is moving at the back okay. so x is equal to your you can say that i just need to uh, display this thing okay so if this is my screen guys okay if this is my screen and i want this scoreboard to be displayed here at here i want the score to be uh, make it so guys this score needs to be updated here okay so you can see this guys uh, so for that what i need to do guys is to uh, just give this uh, command okay so in the bracket i can give t dot window okay and for x axis i just need to give for width okay and i just need to divide it by two okay and uh, uh, subtract some pixels okay subtract some pi pixels or we can say that some coordinates okay so let me just give it 50 okay and similarly for y axis okay i can give here okay i just need to give here not width i just need to give height okay i just need to give height okay and similarly i just need to subtract okay so now uh, this thing is done now i need to set this score okay i just need to set this score so for that what i need to do score turtle okay dot set 
what pause set pause is a function which will help you to set this position so i can give x comma y okay now what it will do guys it will set this thing so minus what it will do in the top left corner it will subtract some of the uh, uh, pixels okay you can say that uh, this is a box so what it will do it will subtract from the side okay you have seen this uh, that how we have created the wall okay so if i don't subtract it it is just like this okay it will this so now if i just subtract it now it is this okay i hope you get an idea that how it actually looks like so this is a boundary value you can have seen that this is a boundary value of your what this is a boundary value of your walls if you have uh, recollect this thing this is a boundary value you have seen this okay so we have set this thing up now what we need to do guys is to write a score okay what is a score so for that what i need to do score total dot write write what guys string of your current score okay this is your current score okay i just need to display this thing okay and in the bracket i just need to make a line okay align to the right hand side okay so i can say align right and the font i need to change uh, font i need to make is your what is a font guys is your this thing okay i just need to copy this okay and i just need to paste it and now the size is 40 guys i just make it 40 and i make it bold okay make the font bold so this is the thing that you need to do this is your uh, game over and display function i hope you get an idea guys what uh, what is the thing that it looks like this is a display the score and this is your game over part okay these are the four functions that uh, uh, plays a vital role so guys uh, we have successfully created you can see this uh, display the score okay game over play sleeve okay and these are the function now guys uh, i just want to make a listener okay which will act upon the keys okay so for that uh, you have seen that uh, i just need to create a space and then I can start the game so for listening that event what for listening that event I just need to create a listener first so what is the listener turtle is your t dot okay t is your turtle so t dot what I need to do t dot I can give on key okay on key so you can see this guys i just need to give first function and then a key what is a key okay so for that you just need to give a function name so we can give a function name as start my game start underscore game is a function name that will define don't worry up and we can give space press space to start the game okay so how this thing will listen so for that what i need to do is to make a listener t dot whenever it clicks whenever it clicks this on key it will listen and again main loop okay these are the thing uh, three things that will execute uh, uh, your keys okay whatever are the keys your okay in the main loop it will execute it okay it will first listen and then it will execute it main loop okay now we just need to give this start game function so for that i can define it def start game function okay so first guys this is our journey to start our game so for that what i need to do is to define a global variable okay a global variable is a one 
okay which star game and we can give uh, declare a variable as game started which will check in globally that in outside function also it will check globally that whether a game is started or not okay so if if game started okay then you need to return okay otherwise what you need to do game started is equal to true so this is a check pointer which will give you uh, a thing that that the game is started is we need to start a game uh, by initializing it at true why we need to perform this function if game started return guys if if by chance okay in the game you have uh, by default click the space okay then what it will do it will do nothing it will just return okay okay what it will see so this listener will always check whenever you just click your keys okay whether you click space f or k l enter whatever it is okay it will keep check of these things this listener will always listen parallelly if you have understand the threading concept okay at the background in this turtle it will also execute it parallelly okay so you can see this guys a global game started okay if game started return otherwise we can define it as true this thing is clear now initially the score is what guys initially the score is zero okay initially your score is zero and uh, for that what i need to do and uh, guys uh, the score is zero and your text dot turtle you need to clear it you need to clear it why you need to clear it what is text turtle guys uh, press space to start it okay whenever we click a space i just want this text to be uh you know fade away only then i can start the game so i want this text to be invisible so what i need to do is to make this thing clear okay i just erase this thing and guys i can define two variables which is known as caterpillar okay caterpillar underscore speed okay which initially i gave two and another caterpillar underscore length okay so what this length will do okay what this length will do is three speed while eating each leaf then speed needs to be incremented so earlier it should have some speed so this is a speed because we have initialized the speed as zero you have seen that thing uh, the caterpillar speed is zero you can see this okay so earlier the speed is zero and the length is three means it should look like a snake it should not look like a box that we have created so length should be three and by while eating the you can say that while eating this uh, you can say that box okay or leaf while eating this leaf okay we just need to increment the length by one okay so how can we do it so for that what i need to do is to change the shape of it okay i just need to change the shape of it okay so make this shape so for that what i need to do guys caterpillar okay caterpillar dot shape okay size caterpillar dot shape size what is the shape size okay first you need to give one comma one okay and you just need to give the length in middle So this is your shape size okay 
okay you have uh, created the shape okay increment from um, uh, you can say that uh, from the front side and incremented at the back side okay by one block don't worry now what i need to do is to make this caterpillar okay guys make this caterpillar okay caterpillar dot show turtle means we you have already seen that we have hide this thing you have seen this i have initially hide all of these things so i just want to show this thing now i need to show this thing show total okay now i need to display the score first okay display the score initially the score is zero okay while reaching the game we can understand things and we need to place a leaf okay place a leaf okay where is the leaf you can see this it will place the leaf so you can see this guys okay so it will place the leaf now there is an infinite loop which will execute okay while true so it will execute until the game is over or until uh, we just eat it okay so now you can see this guys the caterpillar will move forward okay so caterpillar dot forward okay for caterpillar dot forward is your caterpillar speed so in the forward direction it will move okay it will move whatever is the position it is okay it will move you have seen that whenever we start a game it is automatically moving okay so now it will start moving and guys if the distance okay if the caterpillar dot distance okay if the distance means that when we reach a leaf okay so let us suppose we are uh, we are having a leaf okay i just need to create a leaf uh, okay no matter what it is okay so this is a leaf and this is a caterpillar guys okay this is a caterpillar okay you can say this thing that whenever it touch the leaf okay the leaf will disappear okay and uh, it will appear at some point and we need to increment this caterpillar to one size okay you understand this thing what we need to do is to first execute it okay whenever it reaches uh, near to this leaf okay whenever it reaches the near to this leaf okay it will disappear okay this leaf will disappear and uh, it will uh, you can say that display it at another end so for that what we need to do is this okay so if the distance of what if the caterpillar distance okay if the caterpillar dot distance of what leaf okay so this is a distance between your caterpillar okay and the leaf okay if the distance between the two is less than 20 okay then what we need to do is to place leaf so place leaf what it will do just go to this place leaf so it will hide the previous leaf and show the next leaf okay understand this thing so what it will do it will place your leaf okay now uh, while uh, placing the leaf next step what we need to do is to increment the length okay caterpillar dot length we just need to increment this caterpillar okay length by one okay and when we increase the length guys what we need to update is to modify the caterpillar shape okay so for shape we just need to call this thing so copy this and uh, paste it here okay guys okay now uh 
another thing we need to do guys is to increase the speed of the caterpillar okay okay so we need to increase the speed of the caterpillar by one then okay we need to increase the caterpillar speed by one okay so each time it will eat the leaf the speed is also increasing now guys what i need to do right now is to update the score okay what is the score so score is equal to score plus 10 okay so each leaf consists of 10 points okay now what we need to do is to display the score and what is the score is your this score so score what it will do this is a score function it will clear the previous score okay and it will display your score which is your current score okay which we have updated here we have seen this thing okay so this is your first if condition guys this is your first if condition okay now guys second if condition is when outside okay outside window this thing means when this thing is true then we need to make the game over and come out from the loop which is known as break so what it will do if the outside window speed so while it is executing this loop is continuous during your whole life cycle of the game okay so this loop will continue until these two conditions are satisfied okay this condition is satisfied when this condition is also satisfied guys okay when this condition is also satisfied this if outside window okay if this condition is also satisfied then what it will do guys it will game uh, it will uh, prompt this thing uh, two functions that we have created okay which is game over okay and this outside window outside window will check that what is the current status of the uh, your uh, caterpillar and when it goes out you can see this it will click game over okay so this is a small code guys that you need to see okay this is a small code that we have created okay now let's execute it and see that how it actually looks like okay we'll see this thing okay we can see space press space if we press this space okay it will show some error okay game started is not defined okay wait for some time okay so game started is not defined let's check guys okay so let's see this is a green uh, so i just need to call this game started globally so we have defined it here okay 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 guys a small mistake that i have did is to write this game okay here i just need to write game started okay this is initially false okay make sure that you uh, make this uh, don't make this thing okay so now what it will do guys this uh, it will call this false okay initially it is false so you can see this okay now uh, let's execute it so uh, guys uh, due to some uh, this kernel issue <laughs> i have just restarted it okay so don't worry uh, everything is look fine okay uh, so I just need to execute it right now and I'll show you you can see this guys now it actually fine if I just press space you can see this guys if you just click on this uh, guys uh, uh, the bottom up okay if you just click on this uh, up down okay right now it is not working okay so don't worry uh, our game is started okay don't worry our game is started and it is it shows that it, the caterpillar is not defined okay okay the caterpillar is not defined in what line okay let's check it guys okay six eight one one six okay one one six caterpillar is not defined there is no game over color yellow 
okay in this color yellow okay 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 so where is the game over okay the caterpillar is not defined so this is our caterpillar okay okay caterpillar guys spelling mistake we did don't worry we'll change it don't worry okay another mistake no this is the thing or uh, you know guys uh, the spelling mistake happens okay so don't worry let's check right now okay it again show me this thing so don't worry if this thing is happen again so you just need to um, again restart that kernel and uh, just space and you can see this uh, whether it a uh, game over yeah now it is fine guys okay now it is fine so good uh, till now we did a great job guys okay i guess it is uh, we did a great job so good so this is absolutely fine guys okay now guys uh, uh, what we need to do is to define our moves okay you have seen that uh, whenever we just run this application okay so don't worry guys uh, until and unless we define this thing okay it shows uh, error at the first side don't worry about it okay when we click on this run button and you can see this guys okay this up and down button is not working if you just try it out so how to do it very important thing guys very important lesson you need to understand this thing now we need to uh, click on this move up down right and left okay now we need to understand this concept first so for that guys you just need to understand this thing okay so uh, this is your you can say that guys okay so it is something guys okay so you can see this guys so this is my quadrant guys you have seen this this is my quadrant okay now we need to focus upon the angles first guys okay we need to focus upon angles okay so for that what i need to do guys is to make these angles okay so you have seen that guys this is your uh, quadrant and guys you know about this angle what is this angle 90 degree very good okay this angle is your 90 degree okay now guys uh what if what is this angle this angle this angle is also 90 degree i can take different color this angle guys okay this angle is also 90 degrees okay this angle is also 90 degree and what about this angle guys what about this angle this angle this angle is also make it here okay this angle is also 90 degree okay good okay now uh, what about this angle guys what about this angle this angle is also guys 90 degree good very good okay similar to this case guys similar to this case this is our snake okay or we can say that this is our caterpillar okay this is our caterpillar okay this is our caterpillar okay see the orientation of the caterpillar all possible orientation i can define okay all possible orientation i can define okay this okay these are the two possible orientation you have seen this guys either it moves left right or up down okay so for uh, uh, you can say that left right guys these are the two orientations you have seen okay so for the orientation left right i can say that okay 
so this thing will move in this direction guys okay when this caterpillar moves okay from uh, you can say that from left to right guys either it will move upward okay make this orientation or it move downward okay make similar orientation but when it uh, with the uh, you can say that with the right button it cannot move to this button okay it cannot moves to uh, backward okay like uh, uh, this is a rule of your caterpillar that uh, it will not go backwards okay okay in the opposite direction either it can move from top from this angle you can see this guys you just need to focus upon the angles first okay so whenever it is moving in the right hand side guys okay whenever it is moving in the right hand side whenever it is moving in the right hand side what type of angle it will create it is 0 degree guys okay it is 0 degree if i want to make this uh, uh, 0 degree okay if i want to make this 0 degree okay uh, to stand forward so what type of angle i just need to give it 90 degree okay i can make it a 90 degree if i want to rotate it guys okay is it rotating guys or not no it is not rotating if i want to rotate it guys okay let's let us suppose if i want to rotate it okay so it is not rotating there is no rotation figure guys okay don't worry don't worry about it okay don't worry about it okay if i want to rotate it guys you just need to understand this thing if i just want to rotate it here okay rotate it here okay i just need to set it in the 90 degree okay if i want to move upward and upward when it is possible whenever its angle is either zero degree okay or it is moving in this direction to the left hand side okay either it is moving in the left hand side or it is moving in the right hand side so for right hand side guys your angle is zero degree and for left hand side what is your angle 90 plus 90 180 so if you want to move it uh, if my uh, caterpillar is moving from uh, you can say that uh, if it is moving in the left direction okay then from this left direction either it is moving upward or downward okay depend upon uh, what direction it is so you just need to define this move okay whenever it is moving in this direction only we cannot move it in this backward direction like uh, a snake is a caterpillar is moving in the left uh, left hand side and you again press the right key and it will go to the right hand side no either it will move upward or downward so similar to this concept guys i just need to define the moves so for that what i need to do guys so t dot on key okay so i just need to define it here guys okay so t dot okay t dot on key okay i can give a name as move up okay and make it up okay make sure you need to uh, capitalize u okay uh, which is an exception in space okay make sure you do did this do this okay similarly guys for down also okay for up for down down D is capital O W N for right okay right is R capital and left okay left L capital and uh, I just need to make it here okay okay don't worry now uh, we have defined these uh, listeners okay whenever it clicks so now guys I just need to define these functions so def first we need to define the up part 
move up okay and we need to define it okay we just need to define it okay wait a second okay so for defining it guys you just need to give if caterpillar okay caterpillar dot head heading we can say that is heading equal to equal to zero means zero degree or it is heading towards 180 degree means either in the uh, right direction or on the left direction if it is heading okay then what you need to do guys caterpillar okay caterpillar dot set heading as what guys up means 90 degree you can see this guys up means right 90 degree okay if i want to if it is in this direction guys okay okay if it is in this direction okay means either it is uh, 0 degree or this okay 0 degree or 180 degree we just need to make up direction so for that i just need to change the angle to 90 degree okay then only it will uh, you can say that then it will show this thing okay then it will make this thing okay i just need to show this thing okay so we have added so we have added from this is your original and this is your actual so what is an angle between the two is 90 degree okay uh, this is a simple math guys okay so set the angle as 90 degree okay so this is a thing that you need to understand this okay similarly guys for def what it is down down a uh, similar concept but here you need to make updation okay so guys for down uh, what is your angle for down what is your angle so you remember this thing guys uh, the uh, angle is calculated in what in clockwise or anti-clockwise anti-clockwise your can, ca, uh, angle is calculated so if it is in this direction okay if it is in this direction then first it will go into this direction okay then it will go into this direction okay and then it will go into this direction so this is your down guys it is very important okay so you need to add 90 plus 90 plus 90 your uh, angle is always calculated in uh, 270 okay so you can try it out guys okay so you can try it out 90 plus 90 plus 90 okay you can understand the sequence that what sequence i have told you okay this is how you need to create it okay so for downward what we need to add 270 okay similarly for right side how can we move from uh, right side guys just tell me okay if i want to move right right means what angle right means what angle oh this is your left oh, okay right means what angle right means what angle guys zero degree okay so we can move from uh, to right only when we are moving we are moving either in forward direction or on the downward direction okay we cannot move from left to right we cannot move it you have seen the restriction guys okay either we are in the upward in direction or downward direction we can move uh, either from upward or downward okay we can move it okay so you can see this guys uh, either we are in this direction what it is either in the 90 or 270 if it is in this direction so right hand side is zero angle okay similarly for left now it is understood guys okay now it is understood similarly for left you can say left 
इट इज योर वन एटी ओके नाउ आर यू कैन से दैट आर फंक्शन इज क्लियर ओके लेट्स लेट मी जस्ट रन इट एंड सी ओके गाइस दिस टर्मिनल प्रॉब्लम इज वेरी ऑफन ओके सो डोंट वेरी इफ यू गॉट दिस टर्मिनल प्रॉब्लम स्पेस and you can see this guys okay you can see this okay you can see this that how it actually looks like i hope you get an idea guys okay i hope you get an idea that how the things work okay let me again just run it and then see that uh, is it updating the score or not okay we need to first see this thing okay it is moving yeah it is doing yeah it is doing guys you can see this it is doing this thing okay i hope you get an idea guys that uh, how the things work okay how uh, actually the things work when um, you are in a particular direction or not okay these are the things that is very important for you guys okay if you are performing uh, the operations okay and uh, I hope you get an idea, guys, how the listeners work. Okay, at some point, uh, this IDE is uh, very much difficult. So, if you are problem problem facing with this IDE, you can uh, manually type this uh, in Atom or uh, various kind of IDEs are available. Okay, you can do it on that platforms. Okay, so this is very um, good platform for me because I'm. currently running machine learning logics as well in this uh, ide that is why i have shown you okay guys uh, so i hope you get an idea guys uh, that uh, how actually the things work okay and uh, still you have created a game successfully we have enjoyed this thing okay and we'll see you in the next uh, module till then happy gaming guys